Well, nothing but try ranch. I come up with that to honor my little brother, Shane Drury. He passed away from uh, cancer in 2006. He went and made the NFR and the bull riding in 2000. And we grew up together, we rode it together, we were inseparable. Initially, we were just gonna, you know, get a ranch and just raise buck and bulls and just, we didn't really have a plan. We didn't even know what we wanted to do. We just wanted to just to be in the bull business and just have some fun. That was before the ABBI was just kind of getting going and there wasn't a whole lot going on, but we were just, both done, you know, done rodeo, and he obviously couldn't rodeo anymore. And it's just something, you know, when you're in this lifestyle, it's a lot. You'll see a lot of bull riders, ex bull riders, are in the buck and bull business because it's just something you can't ever get rid of. So it's you can't, you can only ride bulls so long. It's a very, very short time frame of your life. So you'll see a lot of people that are going to transition to it because you want to be involved somehow. So we didn't know what we wanted to do, how we were going to get there, or what. We just bought a place and get some cows and raise them and have fun and just figure it out. So initially we wanted to build a, a facility where we can put on events and, you know, tie it to having production sales because that's where, you know, we have a lot of cattle. And my initial goal was, you know, have, you know, build a facility where we can, you know, put on some events. But in order to have a, a good successful sale, you gotta have people here. Well, if you put on some events, you're gonna get people here that are gonna eventually buy stuff. So that's one thing we're gonna be really focused on a little bit next year. but. There's really nowhere in Western Oklahoma that has a covered arena to buck bulls. We, we set some goals, you know, to build a facility, to put on some events. And initially we weren't gonna cover it, just have a whole, just have it, you know, I was like, well, if I'm gonna have a schedule of events out, you know, six months, a year ahead of time, it's like, I can't rely on mother nature to, to give us grace. So I was like, if we're gonna commit to having events, we've got to have at least the arena covered just to take that weather element out of the picture which which was good because our very first event we had five inches of rain that day and it was a disaster everywhere except for in the arena so it was a good call but our whole idea was based around if you know bull riding gets the sponsors rodeos get sponsors why can't we do something with sponsorships for the competition bulls and you know get some added money there to give us a chance to really grow that way by giving us added money to to compete for to you know it's one it's going to bring value into these bucking bulls it's going to bring more people into the industry because there's legit you know bigger you know money to be able to win and make every one of our bull competition events we've had five thousand dollars added money for the bulls we've had a minimum of five thousand added for the riders and now we're using sponsorship money to pay for the riders entry fees it's actually turned out to be a really good deal so without the sponsors we can't do this and when sponsors you know get on board a lot of times just for one event they put the banners up and you know, thank you, have a nice day, appreciate you. Well, you won't hear from me again until next year when I need you. Well, we don't want to work that way. We want, to, we want people and sponsors that we can actually bring value to them, where they can see value in us, where it's just not a, a one-way street. We want to prove to them that we're going to work harder than any other production company, any other rodeo or event that they're going to do, that we're going to get them the most exposure they can, whether it's, you know, with our sizable social media following, all our events are going to be live streamed. We, you know, keep all the signage up, not just for the events, we keep it up for the entire year. So it's really the exposure that they're gonna get, you know, getting on board with us is, I believe, is second to none. I'm, we're not looking for a handout. We wanna be able to help grow the companies that, you know, come on board with us and make it a win-win situation for everybody. All of our rider events are gonna be, you know, ABBI competitions, and in turn, they're also gonna be PBR Challenger Series events. You know, the PBR has really, really been great to us, along with ABBI really helping us put all this together because, I mean, that's the best bull riding organization in the world. And with these rider teams coming up, you know, we've created an opportunity for these guys, you know, to come and get on and practice in a competition type atmosphere. One of the deals that we made is I can, you know, produce some PBRs with them, but as long as there's not another PBR on, on top of it. And, I, you know, that worked great for us because my whole goal was I want to have midweek events. And right now is like there's so many bull ridings going on right now. It seems like the all the events are competing against each other for bull riders. You know, it's not like we're not short of bull riders, where there's so many events. So my main deal is, hey, I want to have midweek events. And the biggest thing is I'm not competing against any other events for the bull riders. So all of our, all of our events are gonna be Wednesday night events. There's not gonna be any other bull ridings going on. So and it, it we've had a really, really great turnout and a great response from the bull riders, you know, doing that. Our last event, Cody Lambert was here. Uh, Ross Coleman's been to some events. Cord McCoy's been to events. So, like, a lot of the coaches have been here, you know, and they've actually seen the facility, seen the setup, and they actually love it. And they're wanting to do some more stuff with the team events, you know, next year and really have more of a, 
let these guys practice in a competition, you know, type atmosphere setting to where it's going to help these guys, you know, the guys on their teams, the practice squad and some of them bottom tier guys trying to move up. It's going to give them guys the experience and, you know, help them maybe to move up to, you know, be major players for their teams in the future. With our breeding program and raising bulls is we want to raise bulls, you know, to compete with and go to the ABBI events, you know, the the yearling fraternities, the you know, the two-year-old fraternities, the, the three-year-old derbies, and the classics. Over the you know the last 15 years, we've been to a lot, and so I've been able to see, you know, what I like about events, what I don't like, and you know, and with feedbacks from some of my close friends in the bull business, it's like, hey, I want to build this facility, you know, but I want to make it one of the most important aspects of what I've done is you know bull safety, you know. So you see a lot of you know events, you know, setups. It's a little bit suspect where some of the the facilities aren't aren't the best with safety of the bulls, you know, and really the flow of everything in mind. I really wanted to do the very best that I can and have the best products. I met with uh, WW and they sent her a little drawing of what I wanted and my ideas and they helped me tweak it and make it work and I sent it to some other guys that produce events and, you know, got their feedback. And after, you know, brainstorming for several months, we finally pulled the trigger and got it set up exactly how we wanted it and it's worked great. I mean, all the bulls have stayed healthy. We've spent a lot of time getting this ground right. We spent a lot of time watering it. You know, we've hauled in a whole lot of dirt to make it, you know, the best, you know. We want to do the best we can for these, you know, these animal athletes and give them the best opportunity to, you know, to perform and at the same time, you know, making sure they're, they're healthy. Our main goal is to have the biggest added money events for the bulls and the bull riders there is. You know, obviously we can't compete with the Unleashed the Beast Tour, but for, you know, the standalone bull riding events for you know, people that produce them themselves. I mean, our goal is to have the biggest prize purse for, you know, for the riders and, you know, really for the bulls. That's my main goal is really, you know, where we can actually play for a lot of money, not just the riders, but for the bulls as well. And we're not going to stop until we can get there.